الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام الرسول اللہ وعلیٰ علی وصاب اجمعین اما آباد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رسپیکٹ ایلڈرس اینڈ مائی ڈبرز اینڈ سسٹرز آئی ویلکم آل آف یو ود اسلام گریٹنگز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ May peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of Almighty God, be on all of you. Let's discuss the concept of God in Christianity. Before we dwell into the scriptures, I would like to make a few points clear. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim. if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of Almighty God. We believe that he was the Messiah, which is translated as Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslim and the Christians We are going together. But one may ask, then where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is that most of the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. And they believe that he was almighty God. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. Not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, that I am God or waste is worship me. I let repeat my statement. There is not a single unequivocal statement. In the complete Bible, there is not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or waste is worship me. And if anyone can show me a single unequivocal, a single unambiguous statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. I am not speaking on behalf of the other Muslim brothers. I am a student of Islam and comparative religion. If any Christian can show me a single, unambiguous, unequivocal statement where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity. I am ready to put my head on the guillotine. In fact, <laughs> if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. He was one of the mightiest messengers of Almighty God. He never claimed divinity. In fact, he clearly mentions, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24, he said, The words that you hear are not mine, but my Father's who has sent me. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3, This is life eternal. so that you may know there is one God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 19, verse number 16 to 17. Once a person approaches Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and says to him, Good master, what good things should I do so that I shall enter eternal life? So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Why thou callest me good? There's only one good and that is the Father in heaven and that is Almighty God. And if thou want to enter eternal life, you keep the commandments. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not say that if you want to enter paradise, you believe I am God. He did not say that you believe that I died for your sins. In fact, he said that if you want to enter eternal life, you keep the commandments. And you have to follow everything what Moses, peace be upon him, has said earlier. That there is one God and you should not make images and idols of Almighty God. It's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts. Chapter number 2, verse number 22, it says, Ye men of Israel, 
listen to this jesus of nazareth a man approved of god amongst you by miracles and wonders and signs which god did by him and you witness to it a man approved of god amongst you by miracles and wonders and signs which god did by him and you witness to it and when jesus christ peace be upon him was asked that which is the first of the commandments he repeated verbatim what was said by moses peace be upon him earlier it's mentioned in the gospel of mark chapter number 12 verse number 29 jesus christ peace be upon him says shama israelo adna hayna adna khad it's a hebrew quotation which means yoro israel the lord our god is one lord so if you read the bible you should understand the concept of god in christianity and understand that in christianity too they have to believe that there's only one god who has got no images who has got no idols and he alone should be worshiped let's try and understand the concept of god in islam the best reply that any muslim can give you regarding the concept of god in islam is quote to you surah ikhlas chapter number 112 verse number 1 to 4 which says kul huwa allah ahad say he is allah one and only allah us samad allah the absolute and eternal lam yalid wa lam yulad he begets not nor is he begotten wa lam yakul lahu kuffan ad there is nothing like him this is a four line definition of allah subhanahu wa taala which is given in the glorious quran any person says so and so candidate is god if that candidate fits in this four line definition we muslims have got no objection in accepting him as almighty god the first is kul huwa allah ahad say he is allah one and only second is allah us samad allah the absolute and eternal third is lam yalid wa lam yulad he begets not no is begotten and the fourth is wa lam yakul lahu kuffan ad there's nothing like him this is a four line definition of allah subhanahu wa taala of almighty god given in the glorious quran any person claiming that so and so candidate is god if that candidate fits in this four line definition we muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as god this surah class is the touchstone of theology it is the litmus test to identify whether the candidate claiming to be god is really a true god or not wa akhir dawan alhamdulillah rabbil alamin